Alrighty. So I've been kind of procrastinating and putting this off, but I've had this video ready for a couple days now. And let us begin. Okay, first, this is going to be a tutorial video on a, how to get Redux running. In, in a little more. Um, first, I'm going to introduce Redux, explain a little bit. So, Redux is in a reimagining of what is possible using the base form of a dungeon vendors with no limits. Uh, yeah, the CDT updates were limited, but Redux is not. Map changes, there's new maps. More, just more stuff. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> Like, new maps, new towers, new items, new like, abilities for each character. It's pretty crazy. And quality of life is big. Um, if you want to read the backstory, but the IDHC is the big participant in what created Redux. And there's a bunch of other people. Mischief and Moose are all big parts of that. Um, so, uh, and s yeah, let's just start. Uh, I forget where I was. So, how do you play Redux? So. You can read the instructions here, or you can. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll have these everything. I'll have everything in the description, ready to go for you. But uh, getting into Redux is about as easy as opting into a a, game, a beta. So if I want to go to Steam, and then right click Dungeon Vendors Properties, and just go to Betas. It's just pick the official one. Um, I'm in Redux test testing, because <laughs> I, I guess I've just been sitting there since the beginning. Yeah, just grab the official one. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. The only thing you gotta pay for is Dungeon Matters, the game itself. And I... It's not on sale right now, but I do recommend getting it on sale. It's $17 for just a base game when it's not on sale, and then it's like $12 for everything when it is on sale. So it's a big difference. So just put that in your like wish list or whatever if you plan to get it. <laughs> uh, it's... So while it is as easy as opting into the beta, there is another option, and that is to have both the normal version of Dungeon Defenders and Redux at the same time. And so you basically have to download the normal game and then go into your. I'm gonna cheat and use a thing. So yeah, go into your. That is the wrong one. <laughs> so, you go into your Steam folder, wherever it may be. Any maps. Wrong one. <laughs> I was prepared for this. I swear. Although the old fashioned way. Over here, nope. <laughs> Where's my Steam folder? Pretty close.
One of these, I know it. I probably missed it like three times. There it is. Steam. There it is. Found it. We're good. Steam. Just Steam apps. Common dungeon. There. There's your. There you go. There's the folder. Okay, you can copy paste this whole folder that has all this stuff in it. Just copy paste that elsewhere and then you're going to rename that to I, I just called it normal ranked I have it on even a whole different hard drive <laughs> and yeah just copy paste that elsewhere do not cut and paste it do not totally move it but copy paste it and then down and then proceed to downloading redux as usual and then you'll have both games. You'll have to... And then... You'll, you'll have to use... Where is it? In this config file kind of application to enter the normal Dungeon Defenders. And you can even add that into Steam by using the add game function. And I have it right there. If you want to do it that way. What else? And what happens if you opt into Redux? Uh, will you lose your save files or anything? No, you won't lose any save files. Your save file on live stays as it was. And it's just... It is copy-pasted over to the Redux right save once. Like, you only get one time to do this. <laughs> so after that one copy-paste of your ranked save file, you can consider the two versions of Dungeon Defenders completely separate games. Um, you can't transfer back from Redux to original that's like, if you were to take Minecraft 1.18 save file to 1.14, going backwards, it's like there's going to be things missing, there's items missing, there's no blocks that don't exist, right? It doesn't work that way. Um, so if you play local, you'll have to change... If, if you don't play online and play local instead, like on the open servers or just local, you have to manually change your save file. So, I where to find a save file. Yeah, okay. These are your two save files for local. So, if you were just to add like dot rdx on the end of that, and then put that in into your Redux folder, you now have a Redux save file. <laughs> as easy as that. You do the same thing for this one. Just put not already X on the end of that. And move that over. And you're good to go for local. Uh, you may notice that the game kind of looks pixely. And even if you download the original version of Dungeon Defenders, it'll still look pixely and maybe not look great. Like your characters here might look a little uh, bad, <laughs> pixely. <laughs> uh, there's a fix for that, and it's. It's just going into any files and changing some numbers. You can do that manually, or you can go into the Dungeon Defenders Runs and Giveaways Discord. Go into General, click on the pin, and scroll down, and any fixes right here. I think it gives you instructions on how to do it, even. And if you want it for Redux, you go to Redux General, go to the pins, and it's right on top. 
same thing. And I, I also, uh, Forever Master actually gave me a, a Google Doc with all that stuff in that too. I'll put that in the description. If you prefer doing it that way. That would be it. I will end the video there. And maybe I'll see you in my next Who Hears video.